Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Anybody that's new to the channel, my name is Chris, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about Churchill Capital and Lucid Motors. Now, CCIV has been one of these SPAC companies that has started the year off so hot. We all know that these SPAC companies were a big story in the past year in year 2020. But CCIV has been getting a lot of attention because of the so-called merger with Lucid Motors. Now, Lucid Motors is set to be the next top competitor going against Tesla in the EV world. So now in this video, I'm gonna try to give you guys the most up-to-date information that I possibly could find pertaining to the so-called merger and whether or not will it be official and if it is when will it be official i'm always trying to give you guys the most up-to-date information to make sure you guys are the most up-to-date with certain stocks and certain companies if this is something you like and do enjoy please remember to give me a big thumbs up it does help me out so without further ado guys let's talk about cciv let's talk about lucid motors Okay guys, so Churchill Capital, ticker symbol CCIV, right now after hours is trading at $58. You can see that in this one trading day, it gained almost 10% overall in the market. Okay, in the past five trading days, it has been totally green. Okay, if we take a look just back in a month, I made my last CCIV video around February 8th when it was trading around $34.01. So there has been a lot of attention and a lot of attraction from investors and analysts for CCIV because of Lucid Motors. They currently have a market cap of $14.8 billion and an average volume $33.4 million. Now, SPAC companies has been the talk of the town for since year 2020, right? The SPAC companies have been an easier, faster way to get trading in the market. So Lucid Motors, in a way, is trying to take advantage of these SPAC mergers to not just go into the market quickly, but also to gain a little bit of funding, okay? Lucid Motors is set to start production for the Lucid Air in late spring. They have their factor ready and they're projected to only produce around 7,000 vehicles this year alone. And they're slowly going to continue to raise the mark each and every time they see as demand fits, okay? They're gonna be tackling the luxury electric vehicle market because the electric vehicles is not in the luxury market, all right? They'd rather be compared to companies like Mercedes and Porsche than companies like Tesla. But we all know when it comes to EVs, you're gonna get compared to Tesla because of the type of technology. Even the CEO of Lucid Airs used to work for Tesla and had a big part in the Model S. So there is a lot of hype with Lucid Air. I mean, just look at the cars, they are beautiful, okay? So there has been a lot of hype surrounding CCIV with the merger of Lucid Motors. When it was reported on February 17th, that CCIV was getting close to a merger with, with Lucid Motors, CCIV soared 30%, okay? Electric vehicle startup Lucid Motors may be nearing a Michael Klan run SPAC. CCIV, okay, agreement to take the California-based company public, okay, so these companies, have, they have been in talks for many months already, for a couple months, maybe two, three months already, whether or not this merger was going to be finalized or not, and whether or not Lucid Motors was actually going to decide with CCIV, before everything was just a little bit of speculation, but this report kind of signaling, it's kind of showing us that it's just more than speculation, that it's a little bit more firm than just us guessing. Right, and the year to date, CCIV has gone up more than 400% because of the speculation of this agreement. And once this deal is made, Lucid Motors is going to be valued around $12 billion. It's going to be one of the most high profile electric vehicle specs since Nikola. Okay, and that is very good. But that was around February 17. Okay, but now we know that Lucid Motors is not going to be trading around $12 million. That's going to be trading around $15 billion as of now. Okay, and this is good and bad for an investors because now can lucid motors actually live up to the par live up to par with its valuation right now remember this company it hasn't really been making a lot of money okay it hasn't sold any cars yet okay but this deal is going to really help it out ccib has been in talks to raise between 1 to 1.5 billion dollars in funding from institutional investors to support the transaction when ccib first got ipo they also even gained over 2 billion dollars in that ipo transaction okay so lucid motors is going to be going into the market with around 3.5 to 3 billion dollars in cash already Plus, Lucid is also backed by Saudi Arabia's wealth money, okay? They're funded by Saudi Arabia as well. So Lucid Motors is going to be leaning back on a big pile of cash to help with production and promotions and marketing for the Lucid cars, okay? So in my opinion, this 
company the moment it jumps into the market is going to come in with a lot of expectations but that does not necessarily mean that this company is a bad decision or a bad investment if you're going to start to pick investments long term ccrv and lucid motors could probably be a great long-term investment lucid motors is going to start to compete in the ev world no matter if it's in the luxury market or if it's in the in the market where tesla is okay lucid motors is going to start to compete with a lot of technology companies because lucid motors is not just a car company like tesla they're going to be doing cars they have battery chargers and they have their technologies that they're even willing to sell and promote to other companies now to answer the big question when will ccrv and lucid motors finally merge and will they ever merge now there's a lot of speculation that this company that this merger will be announced on tuesday february 23rd okay nothing is set in stone but there's a lot of rumors going around that it will be finally confirmed on february 23rd tuesday okay so there is a lot of hype and that's why there has been a lot of significant rise and demand for ccrv okay now when it comes to lucid motors in the future and as an overall company guys i do believe in this company okay because of the things i said previously technology cars and just the type of things they actually offer they're going to start you know very slowly they're not going to be producing 50,000 cars a month not even 500,000 cars a year everything is a process but if you could live by the case and the volatility of the process the lucid motors is a great long-term investment in my eyes please let me know down in the comment section whether or not you have ccib in your portfolio whether or not you have lucid motors on your watches or if you guys are already invested into ccib and just waiting for this merger to either sell off take profits or just holding a long term all right comment down below let's talk about it all right guys so i do hope you guys did enjoy the video if you guys did enjoy the video please remember to give me a big thumbs up if you want to be part of our community please remember to hit the big red subscribe button and subscribe down to the channel all right guys um thank you all for watching i do i like the support we've been getting we just passed 800 subs i would have never thought i would have had 800 subs ever but thank you all for watching i do appreciate each and every one of you so i'm gonna keep on making great content for each and every one of you as well all right guys so please take care of yourselves March out. Please be safe, wear your mask, and peace out, guys. Take care. Until next time. Bye.